Well, good day to everyone. I thought I would show you some of my latest projects and attempts at uh, polishing and cabbing uh, various pieces of coral and, and fossilized material and um, show you how they turned out. Uh, some better, some, uh, some I probably need to do a little bit more work on, but I'll just show you what I have here. Um, so you've seen me cat, uh, catch, uh, find a bunch of coral and, uh, this just about every time I go out, I find a piece of coral and I thought it would be nice to, to, uh, try to cab it and, uh, make it to where you can really, uh, see the polished surface and uh, the honeycomb pattern rather than in the rough state, uh, a more polished state. This is one piece and you can see uh, at the at the lower end uh, really nicely preserved at the top it's actually quite um, crystalline quite crumbly and it was difficult to to get a good polish on it or it doesn't preserve the the honeycomb pattern quite as well um, but um, that's one cabochon I made and then I also did not real fine uh, polish on the back. You can still see some scratches, but I thought just for contrast to do it that way. That's, uh, this is a piece I found uh, in the local creek right here in town. So my first hunting video, I, um, I found this piece and I actually got a, a couple cabochons here. This one, these are probably my favorite in that they preserve the, the pattern the best. And you can see, you can see that um, there are some cavities that have little crystal pockets in them on each piece. I've got a couple more slabs of this material. I really like it. It preserves and contrasts the color with the clear uh, the best of all of the the coral pieces I have. Here's another piece. Um, almost all of this is crystalline. You can just barely make out the the honeycomb coral pattern on it. Uh, all of it is very crystalline. And um, there's the back. But um, there's that piece. This one has, again, very crystalline. You can actually see I, I didn't grind this out. There's a, a crystal cavity right there. There's another little divot. They aren't perfect, but I wanted to polish them in a way that wasn't just tumbling them in a tumbler either. So, but you can see the, yep, you can see the honeycomb pattern here. So there's that piece. And then um, this piece is a little bit different. I um, I was just slicing this up thinking that it was a piece of white chert and, um, you know, just sla slabbing and slicing it up, expecting um, some white chert for a future project. And then I opened it up and I realized that, no, this is coral. Um, and you see here that this is... Uh, quite large, um, the hexagonal honeycomb pat what I call the honeycomb pattern, is quite large in this piece. It's actually quite, uh, it's as big as the Petoskey stone that they find up north. Um, only unlike the Petoskey stone, this is rough on this side, unlike the Petoskey stone, this is silica. The Petoskey stone is... Um, Calcite, I believe it's a softer material and I didn't polish this near as much. This is just a slab I thought I'd show you that for a contrast to some of the other pieces that I have This piece here um, I was convinced if you look at the side when I when I found this piece in the rough state Let's see if it'll focus now. There we go in the rough state. I was convinced that this was coral and you can see the uh, there we go. The pattern as it goes um, goes up, it 
it has a grain going up and down. I was really surprised when I sliced it because it produced um, nothing. I just thought that the individual cells, the honeycomb pattern, would just be very, very tiny. The reality is there is no honeycomb pattern, and you have pockets of clear here and over here, agate, and some white cloud material, and then you have this um, orange or brown, and I think if you look at the look at it right, you see some metallic glint, and I, I did a better job on the back here, and I don't think it shows up any better, but uh, I the metallic glint in that orange section, which there's just a little of it, um, you can see um, looks like it might be pyrite in there, which really makes me scratch my head. There's there's some of it right there. You see this this right here. Um, it's a metallic piece. It looks metallic, and I wonder if it isn't pyrite. So I question whether this was coral at all, but it has. It has this um, fascinating grain to it, so I'm not really sure what this is. I thought it was coral, but I don't know. Um, oh, and I had a piece of horn coral that I thought, hmm, I'm going to slice that open just to see if there's a pattern on the inside. Usually, you, this is a piece of horn coral as well. You can see how it gets its gets its name and I usually you just save it for the you know the shape of it the specimen but I I cut one a larger piece thinking I wonder if there is something on the inside a pattern on the inside and sure enough um, got several slices where there was this very interesting internal design and I'm sure uh, there's people out there that ex could explain the, the structure of the coral and explain all what's going on in there, but I just found that interesting and decided to make a cab out of it. This other piece of horn coral, just for the fun of it, I decided to polish the end of it, and it turns out you, you see very little pattern around the edge, and most of the inside is crystalline. Um, but still kind of interesting. Um, then I'm going to go to a couple polished rocks. This is probably among my favorite pieces that I found last year. And I just tumbled this rock. It kind of looks like snake skin on the top here. Um, but it doesn't matter which side of the rock you look at, you can see the coral pattern. Um, and that fascinates me. It's the lightest on this side, but you can still see the the honeycomb, the slight honeycomb, but the, uh, the pattern on the side, I really like. I only found two or three pieces of this last year, of this style of coral. Um, really like that. And then um, I only found one piece of this last year, and this is chain coral to anyone that is familiar with it. Um, I first found it, I thought it was a yellow piece of jasper, and I saw these agate bands in there, and I thought, hmm, I'll take that home. And I got grinding on it and revealed that, and I didn't have a clue what it was until another YouTuber identified it. I found another piece of this this spring, a bigger piece, and that I hope to eventually do something with. And then here's a piece that I'm going to keep as a specimen, a specimen, and I found this in town at a park, a little tiny creek flowing through a park. But I kept it and polished the edges here because it has this, this blue tint. Now as I'm looking through the screen here, it looks mostly gray and it may be the lighting, maybe a number of things, but um, you could see it in the rough state that it was blue and um, now in the polished state it's held that color and you can actually see some of the the side pattern, the lining going up. Anyway, that'll stay on the shelf just as a specimen. It's a nice little piece right from in, in town here. And then there's um, this, which is actually a crinoid stem. 
and it was shaped such that I thought, oh, let's polish off the ends and see if there's any pattern. And the pattern was very slight, very, and I felt like if I if I ground too deep, the pattern would go away and it would go all agate or all, uh, you know, a clear silica. So I left usually this light brownish yellow. That's usually staining from the river or the creek. So I left that just so that there would be something to look at there. And lastly, I, I want to show this piece again. Um, I found this, uh, I found this, I believe, this spring. And it has some similarities to the chain coral. But there, and it's, obviously it's not polished. And I don't know, I'm just going to put this out there for any of you. Um, if you know what this is, if it's a coral or if it's other another life form, um, please leave a comment in the section below. I'm I'm not going to polish this or do anything with this. I think it's a interesting enough specimen that I'll keep it as is. But I suspect it's a kind of coral or a kind of water life form. I'm not sure, but um, I just thought I'd put that out for you again to look at and. That is it for this video. That's what I've been working on. I was somewhat delayed. Uh, I needed to get some more supplies. Um, got those in. I was able to finish off these cabs. And um, I'm working on some chert cabs as well as some other fossil material cabs uh, that I hope to be showing you in the future. So stay tuned for that. Anyway, thanks for watching so so long or so far into the video, and um, we'll catch you the next time.